Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Plastic Soul, the Entertainment Earth Pop Culture Show. I'm your host, Jason Lindsay. You know, people come up to me all the time and they ask me, Hey, Jason, what's your, what's your favorite accomplishment? Like, what's the thing you're most proud of? Was it the time that you said, you know, hey, make the wheel round, try that out? Or was it the one where I said, you know, you should slice the bread before you put it in the package? Or was it just my eternal optimism that everything is going to work out okay? And it usually does. It's hard to say, but if I had to really pinpoint, I'd say there's a few that have happened within the body and the world of Biff Bang Pow. It's been an amazing experience. It's been wild to be part of something that um, tries to bring things to fruition that hadn't been made before. And so along the way, you meet people that are involved with it. You know, Sam Jones, Dirk Benedict, Richard Hatch, Richard Keel, the most famous of all, William Shatner. Um, so that's all been very strange. But uh, one of the things that was, was really special to me, and still is, was when Showtime first announced they were going to do a Twin Peaks series. Twin Peaks was coming back. And because we already had a relationship, I said, hey, we, we got to do Twin Peaks. You gotta get, we got to get some categories. We got to do something. And luckily we did, and we made some bobbleheads. We made some little mini sort of monitor mates. We made some little pin mates. I was involved with making something for Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks, the original series, is one of my favorite things. Once again, I have a long list, but trust me, people that know me know how much Twin Peaks means to me, especially that first season. And um, I still think it's an incredible piece of, of television. And uh, of course, I loved the return when it came back. and waited every week with bated breath, but uh, we got to make stuff and it was fantastic. And we got to make stuff in time for the show to come out, which meant a lot of promotional things were happening around that time. One of which was an appearance by David Lynch himself. This man that has meant so much to me with Dune and Twin Peaks and Blue Velvet and Wild at Heart and just being David Lynch and uh, Amoeba was doing a signing with David Lynch, so I got tickets, and I was lucky enough to go and got this baby signed by David Lynch and also gave him one of these. Now, he might have turned around and dumped it in the trash. I don't know. I'd like to think he kept it, maybe used it in an art installation or something, but it was very surreal to think in terms of the show that I've loved for so long to suddenly be in front of the co-creator and handing him one of the characters from the show uh, that I helped bring to life as a, as a bobblehead. Very, very strange. The world gets very, very small at that point. Um, so that was very exciting. And then, of course, I had extra people in line for other things I wanted signed, and I got his, his book, uh, Catching the Big Fish, signed, which is a ton of fun. You should get that. Everybody, it's a nice book of inspiration, kind of. And uh, the soundtracks for Twin Peaks, and it was a very, very cool experience. But then we also got to go to Comic-Con and the cast showed up and we had an event at the Entertainment Earth booth and oh my gosh, so many wonderful things have happened at the Entertainment Earth booth at Comic-Con. There's no time in the day to, to talk about them. But I would say this, one of my proudest moments to be able to make this, bring it to life, but then to get it in the hands of David Lynch and get to meet him um, was pretty, pretty spectacular. So, so yeah, the wheel, eh, it's okay, it turned out okay. I didn't have a copyright on it, so what can you do? And as far as the slicing the bread thing, it seems to have caught on. But it doesn't matter, as long as people are happy and they get to enjoy those things. But this, this is for me, and people need to know that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little trip down Twin Peaks Lane. Uh, please hit like and subscribe, and uh, let me know in the comments, are you a Twin Peaks fan? Are you a David Lynch fan? Um, have you met some of your heroes? Tell us who your heroes are and where you've met them and what that was like. Have you done anything where you've like given something to someone that you think is really cool? I don't know, I'm, I'm really making it a, a wide berth now, but leave it in the comments, please. And also be sure to sign up for the Entertainment Earth email newsletter to stay up to date on all of your pop culture needs. They won't let you down. Thanks for watching, everybody. The owls are not what they seem.